Hi guys, I just wanted to pop in and do a quick video and show you guys how I organize our electronic um, components. Seeing that we do a lot of projects that um, involve different components, we started off with these small cases like this one. And it has like the little different compartments in it. And it started growing that we needed another. Uh, we started getting so many different ones um, that we needed to find another way to store everything. Now, when you start working with electronics, you're going to find out that um, in the beginning, you'll start off with little components, and then after a while, um, <laughs> you'll have a whole lot of them. And so, for your children to be uh, more productive in their um, hacking or in their maker space or whatever they're doing, um, it's better if you have things organized so that they'll be able to find it and it won't hinder their creativity by having to stop and find everything. So I'm just going to show you what I did. Like I said before, those two containers you saw that I just showed um, were what we started with. Um, recently I've been making many trips to our local Radio Shack because a lot of the stuff has been marked down 80%. And our store also um, price matches the online um, store prices and they have been slashing their prices so a lot of things I've been picking up lately um, and so I decided that I needed a better solution as far as um, housing all of these parts so first I'm going to show you up here at the top this these are little um, dollar store containers this has our makey makey in it and all the cores that go with it. So when my kids are done with it, um, they can put it back in this container and it normally goes back in the maker's lab on the shelf. This one we have our Adreno in. And it's always the, um, the port that connects to the computer, the board, and I normally have a nine volt battery adapter in here as well. So like I said, each one of our micro boards, micro computer boards, has one of these boxes. Same thing is with our um, Raspberry Pi. In this container, I had a Raspberry Pi, the speaker, um, the charger, portable charger, and the keyboard. And all the necessary cords are stored in here. Okay. Now, going back to um, the containers that I recently, well, I just brought. Um, I brought these from a local hardware store. Ours is called an Ace Hardware Store here in Michigan. And so what I did was I took all the um, bag packaging away and I broke everything down. So this drawer has... Okay, my battery died. Okay, so... This drawer has the jumper wires in it. Okay, this one has our ethernet and our SD um, shields in it. This one has our relay shields in it. And this one has our motor shields for the Adreno. In this drawer, we have all of the um, battery, uh, what do you call those things? Um, housings in this drawer. This one we have our solar panels. This one we have motors in. This one has assorted LED lights. Okay. This one has our conductive thread. Let's see. Mini buzzer. Um, some more buzzers. I have to eventually put some 
Okay, these are some switches. I have to eventually put some labels on here. Like I said, I just organized it and wanted to show you guys. Okay, here are some toggle switches. I forgot what you call those things. Um, Petter meters or something like that. Okay, and let's move up to the next shelf. Some more motors. Um, let's see. Some servo motors. Okay, these are some blinking LED lights with um, a char um, AA batteries. Ductive tape. Okay, these are our sensors. Toothbrushes from other projects. Okay, resistors. What's in here? Let's see. These are relays. Okay. These are some more resistors. Some mini speakers. These are transmitters for the Adreno. I think it's the same as in that drawer. Okay. We have the lamp housing and bulbs. A drawer full of batteries. Some more sensors. And this is a bunch of different um, resistors and relays and buttons and everything that came with our Adreno. Nothing in there. These are some gears. These are some, um, some of the boards that we pulled off of um, some solar lights when we did a project last summer. Some alligator clips. Some double-sided sticky tape. Some heat strength. Then right here, these are all of our resistors. I broke them down and put it in this container here. Let's see. Over here is a what do you call that thing? A key keypad. And then over here we have wires and wires. So basically, I've been combining everything into one area, which this goes in our maker's lab on the wall, once I get everything situated. So now, okay, so now I just have um, a few more containers, this one here, and this one here that has stuff in it that I need to find a home for. Um, just going through everything. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys how we organize, how we are organizing our stuff right now. And hopefully someone may be able to utilize the same um, type of um, storage container for their parts that they have or that they will be getting as they enter the wonderful world of STEM.